Hello there, everybody. It's your World here, and I'm back playing for you guys. Fire Emblem Three Houses. It seems like all the all the editing has finally resulted in something I can be happy with. Um, I do hope you are all able to hear everything properly on YouTube, and of course, uh, you know. Anyway, let's get on to what we have to do. It's just a seminar. I have no. Actually, we're gonna let the kids rest. Yeah. Just, just, just let them rest. Like, there, there's no point in doing a seminar. Oh. Thank you so much. Uh. Perfect timing, oh. Professor. I've just received word from the Knights. They've located the bandits. Ah, oh. all right. This was coming up. It seems they have them cornered. They are in Xanado, the Red Canyon. I can't wait to get started. I'll strike down those heinous thieves before they know what hit them. Charge ahead if you must, Caspar. Just do not put the rest of us in danger. Or yourself? I'm going back. I won't be of any help anyway, and I don't want to get hurt. Bernadette, you're going to be fine. I need a nickname for her. Don't worry, Burn. It's just some bandits. We'll have no trouble at all. Got it. Burn and Dora. Eh, Doro. Eh, don't get ahead of yourselves. Unfounded optimism isn't a great strategy. You're gonna fall asleep on the battlefield, Lindhart. Let's just get this over with. And instantly he's asleep. There is nothing to get over. We will work with each other to achieve our mission. It's time, Professor. Give us our orders and let's move out. I wonder how they're gonna react to all this. I do hope it's in a way that does not make them seem like psychos. That's my hope. Alright. Do the mission. Thank you so much. I am grateful. By the way, I am hoping that not every episode is based. So much. There. I turn off that online thing for a bit for that. No, but I am hoping that either a I find a nice balance between. So we are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. I can stop getting interrupted. Hmm. Off this. Tush. Anyway, I'm gonna try to figure out a proper balance between what you see for each episode, or just make it longer so you can so I can put in more stuff in the episode. I'm not planning on full-on hour-long episodes. That just seems too much for this LP, but. 30 minutes is starting to feel like it doesn't have enough chance to squeeze in everything. Although I was able to get in both a seminar and a fight, so it really does depend. I also might leave grinding to off-screen-ness, and like, again, I'll, I'll do the first ex exploration on camera, even if that means I have to skip a few bit of, expo of exploring just so you can see it. Anyway. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. Okay, basically, I can hold down the... I can hold the LZ button, or press the LZ button, and I can go, Hey, I didn't like that move. Let's turn back the clock. It's also, you know, pretty much can be automatically used once Edelgard or the player character goes down. It's happened once in my off-screen. Dimitri went down. And I was forced to use the Divine Pulse. However, if you don't have any, it's just out. Ah, and now here comes our first problem with the game. Well, at least with uh, this class. None of my students are thieves. So, I will take one who's... Yeah, you're gonna... Wait a sec. Wow, that's not a lot of stuff there. Marketplace. Armory first. 
We have the one. Is that the one? Is that the one? Thanks, is and that the one? one of these. Thanks a bunch. Go to the item shop. I'm sending you to go is open that, that chest. One? Thanks a bunch. Actually, I can probably better equip. I'm gonna give her is that the one? one of the iron shields. Petra as well. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. All right. Come back soon. Save again. Map this out now, because you are gonna. I need you up front. Don't wander all the way in the back, but I seem to have no real choice. Actually, I do have a choice. It's called we put the magic users back there. This, well, he needs to be close-ish. Basically, everyone's going to be running with each other. And we fight! So this is the... The thieves must have been driven back. Damn be it. careful or the cornered mice might bite us. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You don't even know about my superpowers yet. Um, also, I, I accidentally pressed the button. That's why I said, damn it. Shut your dumb mouth. Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death. He has a point. Professor, I hear there's a back road to the west. Why don't we split up and attack from both the west and the front? If we advance tactfully, we can attack our enemy from both sides. I leave the rest to you. Regardless, we must cross the bridge first. Stay focused. Okay. So, I'm gonna put myself right here. Grab that vulnerary and toss it right to the convoy. I will prevail. Cadle guards providing support. I will get the victory. Petra, equipping a bow, will provide more support. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Ferdinand equipping the javelin. Once again, support. Oh no. Ferdinand's coming right here. Put me Aspar's in there. Aspar's right here. <sighs> Battle. Linhart here. That's my cue. Dorothea here. As you wish. Hubert here. I was about to say, but I didn't want to jinx it. If she had crit there, then they probably just both would have gone after her. No hesitation. That's not necessary. Levin. Each battle a chance to grow. Levin. Okay, who wants her first taste of blood? Need someone who's probably closer to you. Or actually, maybe farther from two. Lindhard! And with a wind. Let's get this over with. Not necessary. Can't get ahead of myself. Just like that. I, I killed them. What have I done? The blood. Ooh, he's not taking it well. Me and Edelgard right now are going to serve as the front liners for now. Open everyone up. Thankfully, there's no people here to steal our XP. Although, I did kind of block off Caspar's path so he can be a bit closer to the back. Start to get experience. Don't have to worry too much with Hubert. Hubert's probably going to nuke something by accident, but let's see. Advancing towards us, towards us, advancing towards us. Okay. I'm gonna stand right here. I kind of would. Can actually. She might be able to make it, so. Let's see if. Yeah, I can make a move. If I hit. Oh, that's nice. Get, get more stuff to possibly, you know, do the things. We need to smash yet at Edelgard, because... Knock him over. I won't forget all I've learned. 
Good, good, good. Very pleased with this. Okay, Archer can't move, but Archer can still smack. Um... Wow, buddy, you have... I just, like, don't understand why he can't reach it. Uh, an iron bow for free is nice. Ooh, there's looking curved shot. Him. Popping them out for ten. Very nice. Hopefully, that puts him in range a little better. Let's move up Caspar first. Dorothea and Hubert will probably take, yeah, take turns. Heart goes here. I, I, I swapped the two in the board. That won't do it all. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that one. Regrettable, but there was no other way. I have no other option. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, we have people in need of healing. It's dangerous. That could be her death, so we're just gonna use the training lance then. Oh! Anywhere I can hide. I don't care if they're stealing. Can I go home? That's not okay to be like that. Ferdinand, I think I'm gonna have you go kill this guy. Yeah. And smacked. The mark of nobility. Nice level three. All right. All right. Always getting stronger. Very nice. Very nice. These ruffians are no match for a noble like me. Okay, they're not super upset about it, which I can kind of enjoy. It was a little weird that my own kids were like, and the other day they were very horrified and shocked. These kids seem to understand the way the world works. I am curious to, say, to see what Hubert says. Think this through. Mini bow. Mini bow's fine, but I was really hoping for something like a vulnerary. We stole this treasure. It's all ours. There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knights. Really? Really? Let's think carefully. Oh, disturbance. Yeah, so we're gonna wait for you, buddy. However. Uh, yeah, Linher was the only one who had a really negative reaction to this, but I don't blame him because I think he's... I I have to. Jesus. You know, Linhart, for someone who was appalled at the sight of blood there... Ah, uh, yes, blah, blah, blah. Right? I can pretty much explain this with a few words that it that begin and end with. Don't worry about it. Okay. Put you next to her. Um. Go behind. Go behind. Flip them up. Oh no. You're gonna be fine. I advance here. Ooh, free training sword. Ooh, 
Ooh, he's not gonna be fine though. These thieves just have too much speed right now. I don't like that. Well, you got the key. You get the move on. I'll bait him over here. Why did I take him with me again? I think she was fine with the killing. Pretty sure I heard her speak about it. I, I think I heard her speak about it. But regardless, what are your thoughts? Flame Spirit, protect me. War feeds my body and mind. People and beasts are as one. Calm your heart and do not be worried about this killing. I wonder if she's saying that to herself or to her friends. Speaking of. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. Pop, pop. What a jump! Are all real battles this exciting? Come on, let's get on to the next one. Okay, you need to calm down. That's another vulnerary pop for her. Italian's almost out too, I think. Yeah, they don't have much endurance. We're gonna have to be get a little bit more careful there. Alrighty. Now, going in with again. Going in with again. Okay, Dorothea is still one of the few that hasn't done the thing yet. I will prevail. Okay, uh, how are these looking? Smack and smack. That seems like a little, like it's a little better to me. Now we can protect her a Put bit. Kill you up. And now I draw them in closer. And I teach this dude what a fool he was. You know, that would have been better if it was the first hit. As expected. Another step forward. It's a nice level up, but I would have preferred more strength. And I think it's time to end the turn here. Axe be axe, and thankfully she dodged. And she dodged, too. Well, first off, it's payback time. And my payback time, I'm going to go in the bush and dab you. Very nice. Okay. Whoa, did I get stronger? Every level up that has three or more is... Good in my eyes, I will say. Speaking of things that are good in my eyes. That is either going to be Dorothea or Hubert's kill. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And 
and drop some thunder on him. You were wide open. That's a nice level up, magic. Growth is a part of life. So, is making us experience a real battle part of the church's teachings? Yeah, they seem to be really handling this well. Is the Iron Lance here? Ooh, D plus. Very nice. Simple enough. Very nice. Very nice. Right over here. Give him a smack. Very nice. It's a long road yet. And yet that was a beautiful level up. How close is she to mastering Owo? Not too far, I'd wager. Alright. I go down here. Damn, they're coming. I'm sorry, I skipped that through. I'm just, I heard him say damn, and I'm like, oh, he's good. All right, last vulnerary. Asbar should probably be staying behind, considering how hard he got hit. Ferdinand, your key that I bought you was useless. Most people didn't expect Linhart to just come in and crit. That was unseen. Granted, you know, not. I don't hate it that that happened, but. I go in the bush. I'll uh, let her try to just come over here. Get ready. Speaking of. I think pretty much every hit. She actually can't use that because it's probably not within her range. That's unfortunate. But Hubert should be able to. Destroy that poor, poor thief's soul. Everyone's actually doing pretty nicely, too. Um, I think we got some nice. Yeah, Caspar's the one that needs to level up, so I might have him finish off the boss. If that's within the cards. If it's not, I ain't gonna sweat it, but. Wow, still gonna whiff. You suck, buddy. Double hit again. This woman cannot catch a break. Part of the trouble being an axe user, I know. Forgive me. Wait, I gave him an axe, didn't I? That's not the him I was referring to. Wow, you can't even, like, not hit for that much. They want to have something they can pass to Hubert? Dorothea, give him your give him your sword. He can't possibly get a kill with that sword, right? Okay, good. Wait, did he need to kill or to attack? He needed to kill. All right. Put me in there. As you wish. Yeah, just waste them. If you miss, you miss. How humiliating. Allow me to clean this up for you, Lady Edelgard. Okay, so he's kind of doesn't care. I will prevail. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Yeah, we are gonna give that last kill to Aspar. I will get the victory. Uh 
stay focused. What if I just block here? <laughs> Battle. And I have my own pocket medic right ne right here, so. Swing, dead. Should I have held back? No, never hold back. Well done. All right. I could have been sleeping. Lionheart, you got magic. That's good. Speaking of good, um. We need our two mages That's to my cue. get a move on over here with our long distance so we can take them out tactically. Hopefully Caspar gets a few more levels in strength. This is my hope. Wow. Uh, I think I got a point for my class by just taking the hit. I'm counting on you to kill him. Stay focused. You should be able to kill him like this, right, buddy? Well, he actually can't get the health back even though he hit me with Nosferatu. Battle. Yeah, here we go. Dead. Down go the feet. Can't get ahead of myself. Okay, back over here. That's Dorothea is still out of range. As you but so she works. I will get the victory. Put me in there. Uh, yeah, and then we wait. Everything's fine. First hit goes to Hubert. Sending these brats instead of the knights means they've underestimated me. Big mistake. Really? That's an unfortunate whiff. That's a non whiff. I will prevail. Can you get in there and gambit him? You will kill him. Okay. Good to know that that option is open. But can you get I in there and gambit higher. him? Yes, Shall I can. I'll show you a plan. Very nice. And I think now's the time where he died. Uh, fading blow with the iron gauntlets will leave him at one. Okay, just don't crit. Perfect. Thank you, Petra. Honestly, this probably would have been a much easier had our boy not whipped. Uh, I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. Pretty good, don't you think? No, you got magic over strength. Thank you for leading us, Professor. Though I suppose there was no way we could lose to a familiar foe. In any case, something about this canyon feels inexplicably strange. Alright, a bit longer than normal. I don't... Ugh, it's a bigger map, too. But, we, did, we, we, we were able to complete this. I normally don't take that long with certain things, just... My, thank you so much! Sure. 
Yeah, I normally don't take that long. Um, we are gonna have a little bit of cutscene stuff, and then I'll probably end the episode there. Hmm. I wonder why it is that you recall this place. How do you know that I was recalling it? You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. Because you're a disembodied voice in my head. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Uh, considering it's called the Red Canyon, I imagine enough bloodshed to stain the whole thing red. Professor, I was wondering where you were. It's about time we headed back to the monastery. Are you sure about that? It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day, I will remember that which I have lost. I hope you do, Swathless. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. Hmm. In any case... You're welcome. You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. Sure it was. It's just a joke, bro. No need to take it so seriously. Yeah. On our way out, I had the chance to observe the Red Canyon. Did you notice anything, Professor? Was I supposed to be noticing something? Of course. I expected as much. And you will tell me what you notice as well, so we can compare notes, yes? The area was covered in ruins, each more curious than the last. Aha! Yes, I too thought of this. They did not match the architectural style of any era or culture within the Empire, or across all of Fodlan for that matter. Interesting. That can only mean one thing. What does it mean? The Valley Civilization must have flourished and fallen in the distant past, long before the Empire was established. Of course. Who do you think lived there? <laughs> it's possible they weren't even human. I could have probably gone for the subterranean option, but I, I felt like it was just better to save that instead. Hmm, perhaps their remnants still influence this world. Again, I did mention that sometimes I would be saying things that I personally would say, and then I would say things that I would know would probably earn a right answer. Mind you, this is Edelgard and the Black Eagle House, so sometimes those answers are not always correct. Or they would be correct for a Blue Lion playthrough. Just saying. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. Freya, let me go I to sleep! I their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Got it. I'll start assigning them more homework. That'll help them. Good. I have high expectations for you. And I have high expectations of you, Archbishop. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Oh, you know, killed some stuff, looked at ruins, watched as my student almost blatantly refused to level up, and watched as other students tried to 
Al almost failed in helping it, their friend level up. Legend has it, in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. I get the feeling no matter what I said, this is going to be the same answer. The goddess is always watching over Fodlin from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. See, now that line always kind of confuses me because salvation tends to mean, guess what? Ascended. What happened to my family? Oh, um, I gave them all salvation except for you, so they're all enjoying it up in heaven, and you get to stay down here. But, but, wouldn't salvation be staying with family here? Where they're loved? No, no, I guess it's open to interpretation. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Or maybe she offered salvation to, like, spirits. They're like, uh, help, please, goddess, we're wandering as spirits here and we're lost and someone said there would be food here, but they lied. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. You got it. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Was this important to the story, Sophus? Otherwise, shut your can! Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. And yet you continue to, to prolong this cutscene. Perhaps Xanadel was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Are you simple? That's impossible! I am most certainly alive! Yeah, but I said that to teach you because of the pure fact of the matter that you keep prolonging the cutscene. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... <sighs> you know, a yawn for the game is still a yawn. Oh, thank goodness, saves progress. Alright, I want to thank you all for watching this video, and I do hope you liked it. Nope, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Nope, I'm stopping the episode here. Part uh, one. Oh, shit. stop that. Garland Moon. Mutiny in the Mist. It's not. I'm, I'm going to have to wait till after this, too. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrestia, residents. Okay, I'm going to skip this because all these pretty much say the same thing. It's a little bit of lore about the world and such, but. Ugh, I shouldn't skip it. You know, I'm just gonna do the outro here, to let this finish playing, and then once it's done, I'll just be later. I'll, I'll say later, and then that'll be it. So, well, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. I much appreciate you if you do. And until next video, I just want to say... The Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Looks like I didn't have to pause it, and I still have to wait for that save screen. Now if they throw another cutscene at me, I will be upset. Again, I feel it's important that you all see this. As do I, again. Don't you dare! Professor, I have a new mission for your students. Leave me alone! 
We have received reports that Lord Lanato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seraphs. Oh, hey, Ja. Oh, we're still waiting for that save so I can end the episode. Lord Lanato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. Perhaps it's because you guys keep cutscening him. And set up with that amazing pole up his rear. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Saros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. I need you to help end this cutscene. Can you do that for me? She is one of our bravest knights. And that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Saros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. That's not threatening or creepy at all. Oh, thank goodness. It looks like we're going to just... Thank you so much. Okay, now we can stop. Now we can stop. Aside from the autosave. Yes, we don't care. Oh, cool. We have some supports to get through as well. Okay. Once again, I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked it, you know too much appreciate it too. And to the next video, I just want to say, laters. Woo! Too many cutscenes.